We shall now demonstrate how the preprocessed Sentinel-1 images shall be analyzed in order to be used in the monitoring of the crops in the field. This shall be done for two consecutive years, that is the 2015 and 2016 planting seasons. The preprocessed Sentinel-1 image shall now be uploaded onto the QGIS software to be overlaid with the digitized farm boundaries. This we shall do by going to the open folder, then locating where the Sentinel-1 images are stored and double clicking on it. This will load the Sentinel-1 image. We close. Then in order to view the field boundaries, then we move the digitized fields above above the loaded sentinel one image so we are able to visualize the sentinel one image and the field boundaries at the same time what we now need to find out is the mean value of the backscatter values within any given field to do this we shall employ the use of the Zono Statistic tool. Under the Zono Statistic tool, we shall input our raster layer as the identified Sentinel-1 image layer. The band is 1. The input vector layer shall be the digitized farm shape file and the output column prefix shall be that. So all these statistics shall be added onto the identified uh, vector layer shall be added as columns in this new vector layer. Three parameters have already been identified and that is the count, sum and mean and so we can go with that. So we run the process, the zone of statistics. And once it finishes, we can now close the tab. To view the results of the zone of statistics, we right click on the shape file and go to open attribute table. And when you go to the final column, we see that the data has been added in these three columns. So we have, we have the count, we have the sum, and we have the mean. So this process is repeated for all the identified Sentinel-1 images within the cropping season. After that, these extracted mean backscatter values shall be exported and, you, and applied in R for analysis. The results of the extracted mean backscatter values from the fields can be displayed in this Excel sheet. We can see that there were a total of 15 images that were collected during the 2015 and 2016 seasons. Here we see the mean backscatter values and the standard deviations. In this table, we are able also to see other additional data that was collected during the fieldwork. This included the, this, the BBCH code, the planting dates, the maize cultivar planted, and even the orientation of the fields, among other data.